Well, guys, the grafties is over, okay? And it's time to talk about the award ceremony. <laughs> guys, I laughed so much in tonight's um, episode, I'm not gonna lie. Mitch cracked me all the way up from the start of that um, grafty to the end of it because it was just too much drama and I absolutely loved it. Um, but anyways, before I get into the video, I'm just going to ask you guys to give the video a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you get updated every single time I upload a new video. So guys, before we go any further, the ending of tonight's show, can we discuss it? Are we Team Mitchell or are we Team Scott? Because here's the thing, right? I know a lot of you guys are going to say Team Scott, but Scott did provoke a response from Mitchell. Now, listen, I'm the kind of person, I don't make trouble with people, but when you do make trouble with me, I take it overboard, okay? So when I retaliate, I take it to the extreme, but that's not my fault, it's your fault, because you provoked me. I think this is exactly what happened with Mitch. Now, he should have never called Mitch a knobhead. Like, I feel like there was no need to go there. You're basically attacking him personally. Do you know what I'm saying? You're not talking about a situation like, you know, what you did was kind of stupid or what you did, you know, it was a stupid thing or foolish thing to do. You literally called the guy a knobhead. Now, how do you expect him to respond? Do you see what I'm saying? Of course he's going to retaliate. Like, I feel like it's justified. And he retaliated by saying the, tr the truth. Because, you know, you guys ain't a real couple. Like... <laughs> and you know what I found funny? Is because in this whole situation, Scott literally told on himself. He told on himself because Mitch said, like, you told me you're forcing it with Abby and he's like well there's nothing I didn't tell Abby and Abby's like well you didn't tell me this and he's like well I did hate you and I'm just like yeah you never told her this because you keep saying that people are telling you that you're not interested and you're forcing it and you're saying you're not forcing it because you fancy it you've never actually told her this so I feel like he ended up telling on himself which made me laugh so much um <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie Mitch I can't do I'm not gonna lie let's be honest I feel like with Mitch, you, you don't expect any better, right? Because Mitch is going to be messy and he's going to make a joke out of things. I don't think he was being messy tonight, unprovoked. I'm going to say this. I don't think he was being messy, unprovoked, right? I don't think so at all. And it's just, I'm not, I, I'm tired of the whole Mitch and um, Abby situation, the back, back and forth with them, because Abby was so happy with the fact that they played the tape because Mitch said, run the tape back when Abby said, I did not say this. But you see these producers? They played that first argument when Abby was saying, this is what you said, it wouldn't work on the outside. And Mitch is like, I never said this. But then they played the other one to say that, yes, you said it. So Ella was hearing this and Ella heard all the stuff that Mitch said about her. I felt it in that, in, I felt it. I really did feel it. But do you know what it is? It's happened. It's done and it's in the past, but I feel like this is going to cause a lot of issue between them because that's not something you want to hear as a girl. Do you know what I mean? And Mitch is trying to say, like, obviously it's on day two and I was comparing two days to two weeks. Do you see what I'm saying? But immediately he said that and then immediately he had said that, you know what, I want Ella B. But they don't know what order it was in, so it's just kind of like mind-blowing it's confusing but did you see how happy abby was when she actually saw that she was like yes see i told you <laughs> her face expression was just like i told you do you know what i mean and then when ella b was like you know what at the end of the day you know it was in the past it happened and we're in a happier place now you could see where she was like oh my god really so her intentions was to basically caused problems between them and she was hoping that clip would do that you know what i mean she was hoping that clip would kind of like cause a massive explosion between mitch and ella b and it didn't happen and she was disappointed um i don't know man i <laughs> i laugh so much because mitch cracks me up all the way mitch just seems to get caught in some sticky situations he really does and do you know what i loved it it kept us entertained the whole time. So I'm not mad and I'm happy about it. I'm team Mitch all the way. I feel like Scott um, Scott shouldn't have called him an obhead. I feel like that was too much of a personal attack on his character. I feel like he shouldn't have done that. You can say whatever you want to say, but don't call a guy an obhead. That's, that's my thing there. Um, the other point I want to make, guys, like, I love Ty. I really do love Ty, but I feel like Ty 
Ty be getting into business that doesn't concern him because at the end of the day, I've watched Ty told Ella stuff. Do you know what I'm saying? So I feel like for him to say that Lachlan is telling Whitney, pull a talk, like she's his partner. Like at the end of the day, they're in a couple. He's not going around to spread it. He's literally saying, and they were literally talking because at this point, it's not like Abby did not know that um, Mitchell was saying all these things anyways. Well, maybe not the whole entirety, but at the end of the day, I feel like there's nothing wrong if you're in a couple, you talk about stuff. Pillow talk, what that has to do with Ty? What does that have to do with Ty? Because at the end of the day, do you know what I mean? Like, he just, Ty just keeps getting to stuff that doesn't involve him. I don't know why he does it. And then he was saying the same thing about Whitney the other day. Like, Whitney likes to give out, but she can't take. It's the same thing with him. Because when they were talking about the LB thing and the kiss thing, how he responded. Do you know what I mean? And isn't this thing with Ella? I feel like Ella OG, right? I feel like we just have to own things. Yes, she confronted Ella B about the whole thing. And rightly so, let her know that you ain't fighting over no man. You know, own it. There's nothing wrong with it. Just own it. At the end of the day, you know, she said one thing with the kiss to say that, well, I understood where Ella B was coming from now because I could see how a girl, and the other girls were saying it, I could see how other girl could take what he said as a mixed signal. Do you know what I'm saying? So when she went up there and she was talking about it, and then she was like, well, that's not what I was thinking. I'm just like, what? Do you know what I mean? And then she started going back and forth in what she was saying. I'm just like, Ella, come on, man. At the end of the day, we saw, you said you saw where she was coming from. It's over now. It's quite obvious that Ty do not want anybody else apart from OG Ella. Do you know what I'm saying? By the end of the day, just move on with it. Accept the trophy and just move on with it. That's how I feel. Like, I love Ty and Ella. Love, love, love. They're one of my favourite couples in the villa. By the end of the day, I just feel like it was just too much. Um, Ty sometimes gets stuff that doesn't you know involve him right and you know what it's okay for us to give our opinions but at the end of the day like he always does it in an attacking way and i just feel like he needs to calm down and leave it like you're so close to the end man like why are you gonna you know keep do you know what i mean causing issues like just leave it leave it leave it leave it tight i love you man but leave it cheese you know what i mean but guys i'm not gonna lie i love this new game that they played the grafties i feel like yes it was something new i love it i mean it got to dish some dirt that the other islanders did not see so i'm happy for that it's kind of like an extra uh, movie night you know what i'm saying so i kind of really like that and i feel like that was a good move by the producer i kind of already known that there was gonna be something the moment i saw that they were like meeting the family early i thought to myself now nah, there has to be something else and you know what this something else was good guys and it did not disappoint me okay Obviously, with the whole situation, Sammy and Jess, like, I feel like now they're boyfriends and girlfriends, they could just move past it. I mean, they might need to have a couple conversations, but they can just really move past it because at the end of the day, it's not like, well, Sammy did not know that Jess was trying to keep her mind open. Do you know what I mean? Because they discussed this along the way. But they've progressed. They're boyfriends and girlfriends. Do they really need to make that bother them? I don't think they should. So they should really move on. The whole situation with Molly and Zach, I feel like that little clip, you know, that they leave and said, you know, Zach was saying, you know, my head is telling me all different kind of things. Do you know what it is? I feel like that was linked to something else when he was trying to tell Mitch something. And he was saying to Mitch that, um, you know, if I tell you something, it stays between us. Remember the producers cut that bit and they didn't show us what that was. And I can't help but think maybe it had something to do with that. It linked it because he already was having doubts. Do you know what I mean? Could it be that he was actually thinking about like getting with Katie? Because at that point, he's saying that Katie had left the villa, but at that point, they didn't know that Katie had left the villa. Do you know what I'm saying? It was when they had that conversation and Whitney and Lockin were still out. So at the end of the day, what was he feeling? Do you know what I mean? And the morning after, when he was trying to, to confide in, in Mitch, do you know what I'm saying? I feel like there's something there that we didn't see and they don't want to show us. But... For me, it just goes back to the fact that I still feel like, you know, Zach is not as invested as Molly is. That's And that is the truth. Um, I don't need to talk about Abby and um, uh, Scott anymore because we all know how I feel about that. We all know that that's not going to go anywhere and I'm not going to keep repeating myself with that. Um, I honestly, I voted, guys, for my favourite couple and I went for Whitney and Lockin this time round. I went for, I think my last time was Ella and um, Ty because I went... Whitney, I think I went Whitney Lockin, Ella Ty, Whitney Lockin, Ella Ty. I don't remember, but now tonight is um, Whitney and Lockin because I feel like, you know what it is? I am kind of like favoured them tonight in tonight's episode because of the whole thing with Ty. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, and I actually really love them together. I love 
you know seeing them together talking they're now exclusive and you could just tell that they really fancy each other guys and i'm just so happy for her like i love this for them i absolutely love this for them so it was good to actually see that because i kept saying i wanted to see more of whitney and Locken, you know and their love stories so i'm happy that they've been showing that to us um and yeah i just absolutely love them together and i love that they stick with each other they're always sticking up for each other and they always gravitate they're always showing love and that's why i don't understand why they voted them as the, the least like um you know couple with sexual attraction or something i can't remember what it was um that they did but i just don't i don't understand why they did that because they're always touching like at night times in bed whatever they're always kissing all that kind of stuff talking about at night time in bed did you not see poor abby asking scott to spoon her babe oh he, she literally was asking him to spoon her and then he spooned her and i'm just like babe I just wanted to let it go because you know what it is you know the more and whitney was onto something when you want something you can't get it you want it more and it's just general it's a general thing that happens like it's happened to me before like if i feel like i can't have something i want it more do you know what i mean and when i get it i'm like i don't want it i don't want it anymore i don't i, I never really wanted it i just wanted it because it wasn't available but now it's available i don't want it no more you know what I'm saying it happens and I feel like this is a situation that um Abby's found herself in I don't think she wants Scott like that but the fact that Scott doesn't want her that hurts her feelings because listen even Stephen Wonder could see that this girl has feelings so much and you know what I have to say I respect Locken when Locken said listen if you if you Abby didn't handle the situation the way you did you would have still been with Mitch and that's exactly what I said last night in my review wasn't it she would have been with mitch still she would have had a chance with mitch but because of the way she handled the situation she made herself a repellent she made her bloody self a repellent and that's exactly what she's doing now with scott she's making herself a repellent and girl sort it out but anyways guys i think that was it i don't think there was anything else i did love the grafties i love the grafties and i hope they bring it back next um next season because it makes sense i feel like it's like the continuation of movie night and if we're gonna have movie nights we might as well have the grammys or the grafties <laughs> but yes guys anyways if you got into this part of the video and you haven't yet thumbs up the video go ahead and thumbs up the video and if you're new to the channel welcome subscribe turn on your notification bell so you get updated every single time i upload a new video but anyways guys i'll catch you in tomorrow's review but for now keep it sassy licious